Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. Right, so we've already done parts A and B of this question. In part C, we've been told that the line L also intersects the curve at the point B. So remember that last time we were putting in the line L as a tangent to the point A, and now we're being told that the point where it intersects the curve again is the point B and we're trying to find the coordinates of B. So remember that we've been given parametric equations for curve C. So we know X and Y on the curve C in terms of T, and that point, the point B is also on curve C. So the parametric equations that we've got are going to hold there. So in fact, the point B is on the curve and it's on the line. So what we can do is use the equation of the line from part B and put the values of X and Y in terms of T in there. So when we do that, we get that two times, so the value of X is T cubed minus eight T. And then we've got minus five Y, so that's minus five times T squared minus 9 equals 0. So that's the equation of the line, 2x minus 5y minus 9 is 0, and we've substituted in the x in terms of t and the y in terms of t. So what we'll do first of all is just simplify this, so it's a cubic that's easy to deal with. So we've got 2t cubed minus 16t minus 5t squared minus 9 is 0, and that will be a lot easier to work with if we write it in descending powers of t. So we'll leave the 2t cubed where it is, but we'll move the 5t squared there and put the 16t there, and then we've got minus 9 is 0. Now, the important thing is to remember that we already know that this line, L, is a tangent at the point A, and at the point A, we know the parameter t is minus one. So in fact, we know, let's just write it down over at the side, we know that because when t equals minus one, we've got a tangent to the curve, we know that we are going to have this kind of thing when we factorize that cubic. And what we're interested in knowing is what we've got inside the bracket that at the moment has got nothing inside it. So that when we put that bracket equal to zero, that's going to give us the value for t for the point at b. Now, I find it easier to divide out by t plus one in two stages rather than just put t plus one squared all outside a bracket to start with. So what I'm going to do is just take out one t plus one to start with and work out what we must have inside the bracket. So starting at the left hand side, we want to get two t cubed, so we must have to multiply t by two t squared. But doing that then means that we've got to multiply one by two t squared, so that will give us two t squared. But we want minus five t squared, don't we? So what have we got to multiply t by to end up with minus 5t squared. So at the moment we've got plus 2t squared, so we need to take away 7t squared, so we need to multiply t by minus 7t. So then if you multiply out that, you'll see that we've got plus 2t squared minus 7t, t, <laughs> minus 7t squared, so in other words, we have got the minus 5t squared, so that's going well. Then that's introduced a minus 7t times one, but we want minus 16t, so we need to multiply the t by minus 9 to get minus 9t, so that we combine that with minus 7t will be minus 16t. And the check is that when we multiply negative 9 by plus 1, we get minus 9, which is all good. So that's the worst bit done. Next, we know that we're going to have, let's just write it out in longhand, another t plus one, so that makes it easier to factorize the quadratic, and we know we must have two t there to multiply the, uh, the t by. 
and then we've got to multiply the 1 by minus 9 and that should then mean that we get minus 9t plus 2t is minus 70. Excellent. So as I already mentioned, we have got this. So the t plus 1 squared is giving us the value of t for the tangent of a. And the 2t minus 9 is giving us what we want for the point at b. So at b, we know that 2t minus 9 is 0, so t must be 9 over 2, or 4.5 if you prefer. So now all we need to do to write down the coordinates of b is to substitute this value of t into the equations for x and y. So x is going to be 9 over 2 cubed minus 8 times 9 over 2. So if you're writing this as a top heavy fraction, that's going to be 441 over 8. If you prefer decimals, that's going to be 55.125. And y, nice and simple, is 9 over 2 squared. So squaring each bit individually gives us 81 over 4. So B has coordinates 441 over 8, 81 over 4.